This little guy is the best Wi-Fi hacking tool that I've got and it costs less than $25 and it's completely legal. Let me show you what it's all about. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name's Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So I just returned from VidCon, which is a big YouTuber convention in Los Angeles, where I got to meet some amazing people. I got to hang out with Jack and Aaron. I got to meet Jack Jacktikai. I got to bump into Robbie. There's amazing crafts on his channel. I even got to meet Aaron from Braille Skateboarding and his team. Just an incredible bunch of people. Went back to the hotel room to upload, and guess what? Slow, dodgy Wi-Fi. So these days when you travel, you get to the hotel, and some of them only offer you one internet access for one device, one IP per room. Who of us travels with one device? We have a phone, we have tablets, we have laptops. Even worse, some hotels even have the nerve to charge you $15 or $17 a day just for that one access, which is ridiculous. What happens if it's more than one of you traveling and you need to access the internet? There has to be a better way, and this is the way to do it. This is the TP-Link N300 Nano Router. Full link and the real name will be at the bottom here. You can make this your main spot, your one account that they give you, and you can distribute the Wi-Fi signal from there to the rest of your devices. Which, by the way, you can run off a power bank as well. And it's got usages not just when you travel, but even when you're at home. What I did is I connected this to the hotel hardwired, and then I used this to distribute that Wi-Fi signal to the rest of my devices. Let me show you how easy it is to do it with this little guy. So you obviously power up the little device. You see there it is, TP-Link, and it's got no internet, but I can still connect to it. Go into the web browser, type in the URL that's listed on the actual unit. It's tp-link wifi.net. Next up comes up a little wizard. Now you gotta choose what you wanna do. Click on next. And the first option that you have is, do you wanna change in your login? password but not only just your name you can actually select a new username as well as a new password i'm going to leave it as default and next up what do you want this device to be doing now do you want it to be a wireless router in other words you've got a hard internet connection you can connect to that do you want it to be a hotspot router so if you've got a wireless service provider you want to extend a wi-fi that you currently have you want to use a public wi-fi for yourself do you want to use it as an access point uh, do you want to use it as a range extender? Do you want to use it as a client? All this information is listed on the right hand side so you can really go into the details and choose the right one. For my usage, I'm going to choose a hotspot router because I'm trying to extend the hotel's Wi-Fi that it gives me. Click on next. I'm going to use the dynamic IP. That's fine. I'm going to click on next. Very few times you would have to change this. Click on next. Now I wait for it to load up all the access points that are available that I can connect to and I should be able to see the Wi-Fi there. Okay, cool. There it is. Click on connect on the right hand side. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to put in the Wi-Fi password. Now, in this case, I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi, but the idea is to simulate this in a hotel. And of course, you'll get a password to connect to the Wi-Fi. So you simply put that password in. And now, of course, you can give it your own password for your own hotspot. You can even change the name and click on finish. Now, now it's all pretty much set up to go. It just has to be rebooted. I'll spare you the agony of watching this go from 14% to 100%. Let's speed that up. And now that it's rebooted, I basically connect back to the hotspot, which I have created, not the hotels one. And there it is. I I'm simply able to start using the web. The nice thing is multiple devices are able to connect to this little router and all of us are able to use the internet. Yes, it is shared between all the devices in terms of the bandwidth, but at least you've got connectivity. Now for the best results, what you should actually do is set this up actually as an access point. So you hardwire the TP link into the little cable that they give you, the network cable that they give you in the room. You simply set that up, you give it a password, and now that is the ideal situation to be in because now your router is able to get the maximum bandwidth, the maximum speed, so all your devices connect to it and get the best performance possible. This just worked like a charm. So let's run a Wi-Fi analyzer and see what that looks like. 
So I'm going to use my find for this. I'm going to connect to the network. There is TP link TCP six. I'm putting in the testing one, two, three as my password. Let's connect to it. There we go. It's connected. Okay. Let's open up the Wi-Fi analyzer. And as you can see, I'm getting 144 megabits per second. Nice and stable. Okay. So let's do the opposite. Let's disconnect from the TP link. Let's connect back to the traditional Wi-Fi that I have at this spot. There it is, byte is connected. And let's go back into the analyzer and you can instantly see 144, but look at that drop. It's now starting to come down and it's at 117 megabits per second. So it's already slower just because I'm not using that TP link. And let's just prove it again, go back into it one more time. It's connected and that Wi-Fi analyzer should shoot straight back up, uh, which it instantly does. So I'm getting a stronger signal. I'm closer to this TP link. I'm going to get a better megabits per second throughput. This is just great. So this little guy is actually pretty darn powerful, both when you travel and when you're at home, you can still use it. And you know what else we can do? I can show you all these other cool videos on more mobile internet and more faster Wi-Fi. Smash the thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the head below to subscribe and I'll see you in these videos.